And across Europe, stocks are higher after yesterday's big move here in the United States. Let's head to Lindsay Janice, who was in London and has the rundown for us. Lindsay? Good morning, Eric. Uh, we're actually mostly higher in Europe now. We just had the uh, FTSE here in London turn lower. Uh, we've got basic resources stocks moving lower, and of course the FTSE is packed with mining companies like BHP Billiton, also Rio Tinto. So you can see it's just uh, come down a touch. But take a wild guess as to what stocks are leading the gainers today. It is banks once again. We've got Royal Bank of Scotland, Barclays among some of the biggest uh, winners here. Barclays actually hiring people, says it plans to double its investment bank banking staff in Japan. Um, Deutsche Bank shares are uh, higher today after CEO Joseph Ackerman said the bank had a good start to the year and expects to return to profitability this year. Ackerman says he sees a degree of recovery in the banking industry next year. Also Credit Suisse saying that it had a good start to this year, but you can see uh, its shares there unchanged. And I mentioned basic resources. Uh, those stocks are falling, but shares in ArcelorMittal haven't been doing too badly today. Uh, it's announced a $1 billion convertible bond offering in order to refinance some of its uh, big debt pile, Eric. All right, Lindsay, you've run down through some of the European headlines today, but there's also been a lot going on in Asia overnight. There sure has. We've got the Bank of China, the world's third largest lender by market value today, receiving initial government approval for its investment in Rothschild. Now, people uh, with knowledge of the matter say that the purchase of a 20% stake in the Paris-based asset manager was endorsed ahead of the April 1st deadline. Now, the move may be a sign that the Chinese government uh, could be easing limits on overseas acquisitions by financial firms. Also, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China may say that Goldman Sachs has no immediate plans to reduce its stake. Goldman uh, can sell part of its near 5% stake valued at $7.5 billion after a lockup expires at the end of next month, Eric.